What's going on, everybody? It's Treeb from Treeb Talks here, and this is probably the latest video that I have ever recorded in my entire YouTube career. That's not true. I think it is. We've done crew casts after I get off work before. Oh, yeah. Have we? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like past midnight before, mm -hmm. have yeah. we really? Yeah. Oh, maybe. So now you're lying to maybe I'm maybe I'm just getting soft. I don't know. So now you're lying. You to are soft. Fans. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Okay, I guess I'm lying to my fans. I'm getting lying soft. But anyway, we are back for a series that, you know, we kind of did a little on and off, but we stayed pretty consistent for the most part last year, and we are back with the NFL picks this year. A little new twist on it. We're gonna do a little pre-recording instead of doing it live. And, of course, we got four boys down and dirty ready to do this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> we got Colge back in the building. Colge, it's been a fat minute since you've been in this bitch. What's up, my guy? Uh, same old shit, different day. I mean, I was when I was sitting down here, I was like, man, it's been a fat minute since we've done a crew cast. And I'm just glad that we're doing picks because, mm -hmm. you know, get a crew cast vibe and... Speaking of crew cast vibes, we've got the crew douchebag in the building. Cam? What's no. up, dude? I'm glad we got the office playing in the background. That's probably going to get us copyrighted and demonetized. Yeah, who cares? I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> you're going to cost me. You think I give a fuck? You think you're going to give me. You're going to cost me the 10 cents of ad revenue that I get off of this video. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Because part of that should go to us. We were helping you make this. All, yeah. ten, all ten cents will be freaking divvied out. Don't, Don't worry. To, to the all, <laughs> to all the ten cents will be divvied out to the hungry kids of China and the crew. <laughs> <laughs> Five cents a piece. <laughs> yeah. And then we got Larry in the building as well. Fitz, how you doing, brother? Oh, you know, doing good. Doing good. But like I said, we are back for the NFL week number one picks. Boys, I am so freaking hyped for football season to be back and of course we got the same system the same thing that we did last year and the same point system so basically what we're gonna do if you are new around here is we have a lock of the week and an upset of the week cold why don't you explain to the people what the lock and the upset of the week all is. right so we're doing a little bit of a twist from last year yeah so last year we just couldn't pick the uh, same team for a lock or an upset two weeks in a row now we're doing it so you pick one lock and you can't choose that team for a lock for the rest of the season. Or same with the upset. So with the upset, if you get that right, you get two points. But if you get it wrong, you lose a point. And the lock, if you get that right, you get one point. But if you get it wrong, you lose two, correct? Correct. The and then the regular picks, you don't lose any points. If you get it wrong, you just get one point if you get it right. Yes, sir. And I believe last year Fitz was the front runner. I believe. Oh yeah, I was it, front runner the past two years. So. Yeah. Ooh. It's, yeah. It feels good. To, it feels good to be up top, and I I can't wait to have some competition this year. He thinks he's big dog because I've never done it. This well, is Cam's it's first. Time to shine. It's his first full season here on the on the platform. So I'm I'm excited to give Cam this you know platform. Cameron, do you expect to dominate this season? I don't. I don't have to tell you anything. You don't have to tell me. I, I should just expect it. I know. <laughs> I know I'm he just gonna, absolutely I'm, knows, folks. I, I'm, knows. When, we're, when we're sitting just, here. That was just a foolish question. You know, we're sitting here and talking about rankings, and we're, you know, talking about how foolish it was of me to question Cameron's status of being the best one here. This man's took Tom Brady number three overall in our fantasy draft. <laughs> yes, this sir. Year. And yes, Gronk sir. number five. Yeah, so obviously yes, this man knows what he's doing. Yes, and, sir. <laughs> and clearly will... Watch, watch Brady go off if Jameis Winston can make those numbers with all those yards and touchdowns. You really think Brady can do that? Well, really? I'm just saying. I Are you, you're pick, acting foolish. I'm, no, now. I picked Brady with in Bruce another Ar league with Bruce in the tenth round. And that defense <laughs> and, those, and those receivers. Ooh. I'm just saying. Saquon Barkley and Ezekiel Elliott were still on the board. You think I care? <laughs> <laughs> I just still like Zeus. Nah, that's a waste. <laughs> that's a waste. Tom Brady, 30, 30 points every week. When you came up to me too, and you were like, "Look at all these people that are left." 
I was totally expecting to see Ezekiel Elliott's name on there. I was like, did somebody really fuck up this man? I'm at seven. There's no way. And it wasn't. And then I was just kind of disappointed. Whenever I see, like, Cameron's just thinking, like, stonks. Like, straight <laughs> up, dude. Like, he's, he's moving on up. But we'll, we'll see how he performs in this one. Anyway, to kick off the season, um, this video should be uploaded on Wednesday? Because the... Well, today's technically Wednesday, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so on Wednesday, it should be uploaded. And to kick off the season, we got the Houston Texans going to Kansas City to face the Kansas City Chiefs. And before we get into our picks, can I just say I don't really like this for a kickoff game? I'm not really a fan of this game. Fitz, what are your thoughts? Uh, I see potential. I like, I like the potential of the offense of the Texans. Their defense is the same thing. It's got potential. It's the same defense as it always has been. But if J.J. Watt can come back to the form he used to be, then maybe it's something that's different, special. Who knows? We'll see. All right, and to pick this game first, I'm going to go flip it over to the Stonks man himself. To open up the season, you got the Kansas City Chiefs. you got the Houston Texans. Cam, who are you picking to win in the opening game this week? You know, right off the bat, I'm going to have to put a bold statement out, and it's going to be a lock. Kansas City is going to win. No doubt. To Cameron already throwing down his lock. What makes you so confident in the Chiefs win over Houston? Patriot, and I'm not the Patriots God. <laughs> you got Tom Brady on the vibe, yeah, bro. Right on my. Uh, no, the Chiefs just won a Super Bowl at... Mahomes just got married to his wife. He's he's doing great. He's he's feeling himself. Just got paid. He's yeah. A beast. Yeah. yeah, he's feeling himself. Tyreek Hill, the, the whole Chiefs are just feeling themselves right now. Especially after that big W right there after they had in the bowl. So you know they're gonna not let the fucking cheat the Texans just come in there and beat them. Fuck no. And the Chiefs are gonna come in and stop them. It's easily they're easily gonna put up thirty point thirty plus points. Culture you got in this one. You know, I'm going to have to agree with Cameron, you know, coming off the biggest dub in, you know, the football league, you yeah. know, the Super Kansas Bowl. Kansas City Chief history. Yeah, and it's, like uh, there, it's almost no doubt it's not going to be my lock of the week, but What's I'm going dope? to choose... The Kansas City Chiefs. It, it's one. It's like that TikTok. It's like a no question. Yeah, no, no question. question. Don't even ask. That's right. like that's like you ask me if I'm still a Patriots fan. That's foolish. <laughs> <laughs> when I asked my dad that same question, shouts out to my dad and always watching. Larry, who you got? Uh, I'm gonna take the Chiefs, and I think it's gonna be by multiple possessions. Yeah, I do. It's just this offense is just too good. It's just ridiculous. They're. The Texans' defense continues to get older and older. They can't line up against the Chiefs. Not I do that, not without speed. No. no, and I do like David Johnson. I do think he'll be a big piece. I think Houston will offense. be fun to watch this year. They'll be fun, but I don't think they're going to be. There. Not against the not Chiefs. Not against the Chiefs. And ladies and gentlemen, for the first time of 2020, we have ourselves a star frame. Five dollars charity of your choice. We're going to also take Houston here from Treve, and shouts out to my sleeping girlfriend as well. She's going to be awake, but that's all right. But that is the loudness we get for the star frames. Five dollars of charity to your choosing. We're popping off here, and that is star frame number one, and I kind of knew, I kind of knew when I saw this matchup mm -hmm. that this is going to be, this is going to be the first one of the season, and you know, when you look at these matchups here in Week One, I don't think there's a lot of star frame possibilities. I see a lot of matchups where there's gonna be uh, there's gonna be some debates. I think. So the next matchup on the slate, we got the Philadelphia Eagles and the Washington Redskins. Cold? No, nope, it's not the Redskins. Oh, the Washington football team. Did see now? Yeah, Washington. It is the Washington, Washington football. I'm so racist. That I am so. Yeah. God, now this whole podcast is canceled, isn't it? <laughs> Basically. Oh, so. no. No, that's going to I got It's, it's happening. No, I got to edit it out. Jameson's <laughs> going to be so pissed. Jameson's not yeah. going to be happy. Yeah. But it's all right. It's an honest mistake. Yeah. Okay, the Washington football team. So we got the Philadelphia Eagles traveling to D.C. to face the Washington football team. Culture, do you got? I. Wait, you said the Eagles? Yes. I'm choosing the Eagles. Because I don't think 
Who who's starting for Washington? Haskins. It's Dwayne Haskins. Yeah, cause you have to start in. And I think uh, once Alex Smith gets there, oh, he's gonna be throwing some dots, man. But I don't think Big Dwayne can do the job. I'm choosing the Eagles. Choosing the Eagles. We're gonna flip this over to Cam, the crew douchebag. Who do you got? You know, I'm gonna have to go with the Washington team. You know, Ooh. I I have faith in Haskins. He didn't really like. Uh, Washington too much last year. He didn't really want to learn the playbook. P- playbook. He was just he just wanted to have fun. He didn't care about way losing. And because this is his second year, right? Yeah. Yeah, second so thought, year yeah, so, yeah, second year. So I mean, like, and now he knows Alex Smith is coming back. He is able to play. So now he is. Now he actually has to fight for his starting job because the guy behind him, come on, what, what doggy do do? So I mean. I might have to go with the Washington team right here because the Eagles are just going to be just a walk in the park. Carson Wentz? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know. nah. I love it, dude. So, okay, is that is that going to be your upset of the week or is that, are you just picking that one? I'm oh, you're pretty, just picking that one? All right. Oof. Moving over to Larry. Who you got and why? I'm going to take the Eagles. All right. And here's, here's what I'm going to say. I think the sophomore slump starts week one for Haskins. He I never had a fucking freshman upbringing. Exactly. In yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is the year of upbringing, yep. baby. The sophomore year is over. I'm saying it's done. I think he's going to throw four picks. I think I think Alex Smith will be in by week three. I think the Eagles will overcome their offensive line troubles with them losing a couple people out for the year. I think Miles Sanders will have a good game, and they'll win the game. So, for me, you know how they say women's periods sync up? I think roommates' minds sync up. Because for my upset of the week, I got the Washington football team taking down the Philadelphia Eagles. Damn, I should have chose the other team. (laughs) And I think that Dwayne Haskins is going to have a very impressive season. Even with, Bold the, even the re- with the releasing of Adrian Peterson, I think Ron Rivera is exactly what that football team needs. You need a coach that can bring something to the table, develop a young quarterback, develop a team. You know, Alex Smith may be in there later in the season, but for right now, Dwayne Haskins needs a game to shine. He needs a game to show some promise, and he's going to do that early in the season, and he's going to do that at home. Against the Eagles, an upset victory. So we're going to take the Washington football team, not the Redskins, in my upset of the week. So after two games, only one star frame. Let's see if we get a number three. And we got the Miami Dolphins traveling to New England to take on the new look New England Patriots with Cam Newton. And who better to start this off than the crew douchebag himself, Cameron? Well, that's just a no-brainer. If I could uh, do a lock again, clearly it would be a lock. Patriots, if I could do it every single week, Patriots, this is just a no-brainer. We know the Patriots are going to win. We have... They really want to put Fitzpatrick and Tua in the same team. They're both... One had hip injuries last year. He's going to be bad. He's not going to play well in the college. He's going to get hit once, break his hip again. Fitzpatrick only has one good game a year. And that's not going to be against the Patriots his first week. No. He's going to throw four picks against Gilmore, the McCourty brothers, and all the guys that are still back there. It's like we still got, the, we still got those lights out corners. So, like, our corners are still the same. The only thing that we really lost was just our linebackers mostly. So, it's just like, if I'm being honest, our defense is still kind of the same, but at the same time, it's not just our linebackers and a couple linemen. But corners and safeties are pretty much still the same. So, that's just going to be a dub right there. I do have to ask you, though. Cam Newton starting week one. What do you expect for Cam Newton opening the I season? I know for a fact he's throwing 200 yards, probably running 50 yards. That's that's very fair. That's very fair. My get, my get down the middle. No de- de- <laughs> yeah. definitely, definitely getting to definitely throwing a touchdown. We're definitely going to rush a touchdown in. Probably either Newton or Sony. Who knows? Definitely could be both. You know Cam's a big bitch. So. This is very hard to argue. So, I mean, like, I, I mean, very like, cut down the middle. It, it, it's just, it's, it's undeniable. It's just honestly undeniable. If you chose the Dolphins to win this game, you don't know football. 
And I'll just hop over to me, too. I'm going to also take the New England Patriots. I'm very excited to see Cam Newton play. I'm very excited to see like the Patriots play with a new quarterback under center. I think it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to be fun. So I'm going to take the Patriots as well. Fitz, who do you got? I'm, I'm going to not take the Dolphins. I'm going with the Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> but I, uh, I do think Fitzpatrick's going to have a 400-yard game. Four touchdowns. He's going to do it for his mom, but he's going to lose. Yeah. He's going to lose. Patriots are just – I think Cam's going to come out and have a comeback game. You have to, you have to look like – because, like, I've watched a bunch of the training camps and a bunch of the videos of Cam, like, the practice sessions that they've had. And just, like, the way Cam's been acting and, I mean, vibe and at practice and, like, with the players and everyone else and how they're doing, it just looks like they're doing their like what Bill wants. They're doing their job. But they're having a fun ass time while they're doing it, and it's just like you never see that from a Patriots team. You never see them having fun while they're doing their job. It's just it's you not, love to see that. Yeah, it's not it's not normal. You only see them do their jobs and be them be focused twenty four seven and be like on their grind. But they're doing that, but they're having fun, and it's just like, damn, this this Patriots team might be a little dangerous this year. All right, and Colge, you have one job to do unless you're gonna take Miami. It looks like. Number two, and we'll heat it up. But what do you got? Oh! I am choosing. <laughs> you guys really want to know? Yeah, let's hear it. And as I said, the week is. Oh, is it? Is it? I'm choosing New England. <laughs> star star frame. frame! Second star frame of the season. Um, $5 Mandy. charity of your choosing. That's $10 so far, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go broke. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm excited to see Cam Newton play. And uh, you, you know how I feel about Cam Newton. The boy gets dubs. Towel over your head. You he get get, dubs. He's going to have a towel over his head at the end of the game. He's going to be getting dubs. And he's going to get at least two rushing touchdowns. Him and Edelman, man. Edelman's for sure getting a touchdown. Oh, yeah. And then the next game of the 1 o'clock Eastern games, we got Green Bay traveling to Minnesota. And you see a lot of people kind of talking about Aaron Rodgers and thinking that, you know, Aaron Rodgers might be taking a step back in this one. And, Larry, I want to, I want to go to you first. Let's talk about Green Bay, Minnesota. Who do you got and why? Uh, you know, I think... I'm going to go the opposite way on this one. I think the Vikings take a step back offensively. I don't. I, I think Stefan Diggs being traded away is something that they're not going to be able to make up right away. I think Justin Jefferson's a talent. I don't think he's going to make up for the swing of that. That's an 1,000-yard guy right there. You, don't, I don't, you have new coaching staff, everything. I just think the offense is going to run a little different. I think Dalvin Cook's going to come out a little slow. I think Green Bay beats him. I think Rodgers comes out hot. He likes his receiver core already. I think that's all it takes. I think Green Bay's going to get it. Their defense has perfect outside linebackers, the good pass rushers, the Smith brothers. It's a lock. I think Green Bay beats them. Is it your lock? I'm not going to lock them. I just think it's Green Bay. I am going to take the opposite of what you say, and I'm going to take Minnesota to defeat the Green Bay Packers. They just got Yannick and Gokwe. That boosts up their defense. I like Minnesota's defense from top to bottom. I think they're going to match up well against Green Bay. I think their secondary matches up well against Green Bay. I think that their pass rush is going to do well against them as well. I think that the loss of Stephon Diggs is still... A big loss, but I think you know relying more on Dalvin Cook this year shouldn't hurt as long as he stays healthy. And I mean, in a Week One game, he should stay healthy. It's a division game and, too, though. <laughs> like that's when you get hurt. I'm, I'm hoping in Week One he stays healthy. I'm yeah. taking Minnesota to beat Green Bay. Cole, who do you got? I got Minnesota, man. Yeah, I good. love Minnesota. I love Dalvin. I love uh, still Kirk Cousins slinging the rock, I right? Love, yeah, I love, I Kirk, love Kirk, man. And uh, I think they're just going to pull away, probably by like a field goal or something. But It's going to be a tight one, I it's think. It's going to be yeah. toy. Cam, who do you got? Uh, I'm going to have to go with the Packers there, son. Oh, it's a split. It's the old banana split. What do you like on the Green, ba- on the green Bay side? 
Rodgers has to fight for his starting job. He does. Packers drafted a quarterback, what, first round? Yeah. Jordan Love. Every time Rodgers has had somebody who's threatened him as, like, a QB, somebody who's behind him, who's pushed him, or somebody that they're going to, like, put on the roster. He always makes it to the playoffs. He has always had an MVP season. Or made it to the playoffs. Yeah, done something just extremely well. So... I think Rodgers is going to have a good year. Yeah, he's going to be. He, he has a chip on his bone because I know he does not like that love kid. I want it. I'd no, be pissed. Not threatening your job like that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like, a little too early for Rodgers, I feel. Yeah, yeah he's still got four more yeah. solid years left. Mm-hmm. The next game is a game that I will start off, and that is the Indianapolis Colts traveling to Jacksonville. And as much as I want to say the Jags will win this game, I already did the preview, I already said what I need to say, I don't think the Jags win a single matchup against the Colts on paper. You give Phillip Rivers a lot of time to throw against this piss-poor defense and this piss-poor secondary. You got T.Y. Hilton going up against a fucking rookie corner and C.J. Henderson. It's not going to work out. I want to take the Jags with my competitive side. Shows that I really want to win this competition. So I'm going to take the Colts and I'm going to flip it over to Colge. Colge, who do you got? I'm going to use my first upset this round. Oh, round. you sweetheart. The and fans I'm will love you. The Jags. Be only because there wasn't that many upsets that I wanted to choose. So I kind of had to choose one. So. Hey, it's going to make the fans happy, dude. I'm a fan fave. You're a fan (laughs) fave. You're going to please the fans. Mm. And Cam, who do you got in this one? I'm going to have to go with the Colts on this one there. That's, I mean, that's fair. It's fair. Can I, what what do you got? What do you got on that one? I mean, it's pretty straight down the middle. It is straight down the middle. (laughs) Jaguars are bad. Colts are just a little better. Fitz, who do you got? I'm thinking the Jags for the upset of the week. As Damn, well. dude, I'm me and Cam it. fucking insane. <laughs> Damn, well, I shouldn't. I think Gardner is a great improviser. He is. I think he's going to dial something up. You guys still have some receivers. Chris Thompson needs to be in a position to thrive. I think Gardner, it's not our- Gardner, well, Gardner still uses guys as receiving backs. He's I, not the starting running back. Yeah, but Armstead's the Armstead's not the starting running Who back is? either. Uh, fucking uh, Daniel Thomas. Who the hell is that? He, we drafted him this year in the seventh All round right. from the FCS, okay, and cool. he got the start over Thompson. Hey, and Requ- well, Raquel Armstead's on the COVID list. Oh well, there you go. So so, so he he is why. getting the. He is getting the start at running back. What is he t- like? A, what type of back is he? He's a first style back. Like okay, well, he's like a, he's like a, he's a speedster, but he's also kind of he's got a little power to him. I think we, yeah, you just need somebody who can catch like out of the backfield. That's all I'm saying for Gardner. <laughs> I think Josh Allen will make a few plays. I think T. Y. Hilton is past his prime. He has oh, been yeah. for a few years. Oh yeah. The Wills has run dry on him. He is. A hamstring away from being out for the whole season or lingering for having a rough year. So I, don't, I just don't see it. I'm hoping the best in that one. And coming up next, we got another divisional matchup. There's tons of divisional matchups on the week one calendar. We got the Detroit Lions taking on the Chicago Bears. And you know what I love to see? I love to see Matthew Stafford get some fucking success. And that is why I'm taking the Detroit Lions to beat the Chicago Bears. The Chicago Bears, right now, I don't even care. At me if you want. They're a dumpster fire organization right now. Oh, yeah. They they literally took Nick Foles' contract off of our hands to challenge Mitch Trubisky. And then they're like, oh, Mitch Trubisky, fine, go ahead. Mitch Trubisky is garbage. They still gave Mitch Trubisky the starting job. And Mitch Trubisky is garbage. And Nick Foles is garbage. And you put in... I mean, they they got some guys on the offense. I mean, they got David Montgomery, who's a solid running back. Allen Robinson. Allen Robinson, solid. But, I mean, I still think they're a bottom team in the NFC North. Yeah, yeah. but that defense, though. See, but that's the thing. is like, I can't ride that Bears defense. I can't, you can't ride the Bears defense with Mitch Trubisky, I don't think. Not anymore. Not, yeah. You can't even ride it. It's like they were good a couple years ago. 
but now they're just kind of they're league good average. last year. They're just still league. They're league average. Uh, they're ranked number three in the top top defense. Uh, they're in the top three, if I remember right. Yeah, in the in the passing, well, not in the passing, but, the top sack but in the rushing. In, in the rushing, I'm pretty sure they're in the top. Well, three. Then you look at the. When you, the top guys, no, no, no <laughs> the top the top guys in that defense did not perform as well as they should have last year. I don't think they're. I can't. You can't rank that defense. Well, they went. Where well, they went? What? Ten and six? What was it? They or, missed the playoffs. They missed the playoffs. They probably yeah. were like eight and eight. They're not gonna. Nine. Yeah, they're not gonna make the playoffs in this division either with Green Bay or the Minnesota. I don't yeah. Know. So, Fitz, you, are you taking the I'm threat? taking the Lions. Yeah. I think AP has a day. I forgot. Yeah, AP, yeah. all day. So, DeAndre, you think AP is going to have a day every week? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Yes, you do. You're an AP homer is what yeah. you are. Well, no, but uh, the thing is, is he's in a good position right now. DeAndre mm-hmm. Swift got, uh, like, hurt a little bit before this. I don't think he's going to be able to play. I think AP will be fine behind the offensive line. Matt Stafford's always slinging the rock. Kenny Galladay and Marvin Jones were good last year. I think the Bears won't keep DJ up. DJ Hawkinson's. Yeah, good he's guy, all right. Yeah. Cam, who do you got? We don't quote the Bears. Taking Chicago. You like Mitch Trubisky, huh? No, it's like the defense. Hmm. I mean, I think even Bears fans would agree with that one. Cole, who do you got? I'm going to have to agree with Cameron. I think... The Bears defense going to show up week one and get at least two scores on the defense. Oh, coldest bold take of the week. There's going to be at least two turnovers for sure. Coldest bold take of the week, two defensive touchdowns for Chicago. Scores. Two defensive, so safety. I mean, there could be. I'm not going to set anything in stone. They can't get a field goal on defense. <laughs> <laughs> so they can, yeah, they, they can like, return a block field, field goal. goal touchdown. Hmm? Block field goal touchdown. Isn't that technically special teams? Yeah, but it wouldn't. I don't know how. That would that would count. count. I'm just saying I can keep that counts they could, on they the could defensive get, special teams yeah, fantasy points. I'm just saying it could be two safeties, could be two touchdowns, touchdown safety. I don't know. Two it don't matter. Scores. All that matters is they're scoring. Yeah. They're scoring. All right. All right. Coming up next for the one o'clock Eastern time slot, we got the Las Vegas Raiders traveling to Carolina to take on the Panthers. And I think the Raiders are another team that are going to underperform this year. And I think the Panthers are a team that are going to surprise. A lot of people, and that's why I think Teddy Bongwater and Christian McCaffrey are going to take this victory over the Las Vegas Raiders, and really kind of, you know, step their get their feet wet in the NFC South. And you know, Panthers fans are going to be really happy about it, but there's no way they stand a chance in the NFC South in all actuality. Cameron, who do you got? I'm going to have to go with the Panthers on this one. You like Teddy Bongwater in that offense? Yeah, offense, the receivers, the running back. It's just it's a good fit uh, all together. I think he's going to have a good time there. A lot better than he did in the Saints. And Larry, what do you got? I'm going to take the Panthers on this one. I think it's just because the Raiders are flying across the country to go to, the, to Carolina. I think that's all it is. I, I like Josh Jacobs. I think he'll have a breakout year this year, but I think the Raiders will still struggle and not be relevant in their division. And also the same with the Panthers. The pa- Panthers will get 1-0, make their fans feel optimistic, huh? and it'll be over after that, after a few weeks. And Colch, who you got? I'm choosing the Las Vegas Raiders. Oh, prevented a star for Yeah, him. I mean... Wow. I know they're not playing in Las Vegas, but I mean, like, New City, they're just, I think they're ready to roll. You think this is Josh Jacobs? All of it, man. I think Josh Tyrod, Jacobs. my bold take of the week, Tyrod throws over 300 yards and three touchdowns. Tyrod? I mean, not Tyrod, freaking uh, Bongwater. Oh. Bong. Teddy Bongwater. Teddy Bongwater goes off against the Raiders. <clears throat> Next up. We got another divisional rival game between the Jets and the Buffalo Bills. Larry, make some sense out of this one. I'm having a lock on this one there. Whoa. I think the Bills come out. I think they dominate. I think it's over. I think the Bills got it. The Jets just don't got anything going offensively. 
Only only Le'Veon Bell. Le- and I don't like him. <clears throat> I personally don't. I don't really like Le'Veon in that offense. I think John Brown and Stefan Diggs both have over 100 yards and a touchdown apiece. I think it's an easy win for the Bills. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have to agree with Bryce on this one. That's a Bills dub all day. Colch, I'm going to have to agree with you two, and it's Bills dub. Bills dub. All day. All day. Stefan Diggs, two touchdowns. John Brown, a touchdown. But only 90 yards. And I'm going to have to go with not the Bills. You're going to go with the Jets. I'm going to go with the Jets. Star frames. I'm going to go with the Jets. You're a real cocksucker, aren't you? Benny and the Jets. I'm going with the Jets. What's your reasoning? You think Le'Veon's going to step up? There's no he, really reasoning. You want to know why I'm he's, thinking the Jets? He's a jerker to Arnold. You, because I got a feeling. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because I, I like it. I'm picking right. the Jets think, because I got a literal feeling. Donald's going to go off. He thinks Donald's going off. You know, you pick Is games. Frank Gore going to have 100 yards? You pick games like, <laughs> you pick games like that sometimes. I just got a, I got a feeling. I just got a feeling the Jets. That's a bad one. The Jets get a week one dub against the Bills. That's a bad one. Huh. <laughs> That's all my clear analysis I can give you. I like that it. One. That's I, how I do most of my picks. <laughs> <laughs> Got a weird feeling, but that didn't work out for me last year. <clears throat> I, I can't. I can't really give you a, a real reason. Anyway, coming up next, we have the Cleveland Browns at the Baltimore Ravens. I wish Barnage was here so he can give us a little bit more expert analysis. Anyway, we got Fitz in the building, though. Fitz, who do you got? This one's tough. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm like, go to somebody else on this one. I'll come back to me. Cam, who do you got? I'm going to go with the Ravens. That's just a no brainer right there. Uh, they made it to the playoffs. They were so close to making it to the Super Bowl. They were so hyped. It was supposed to be the Ravens versus the Chiefs. Right? Yeah. It was supposed to be the Ravens versus the Chiefs, but no. Well, in the AFC Championship game, but yeah. But no, they had to lose. So yeah. they lose to the Titans? Yeah. Oh, my yeah. Titans, man. <laughs> Undefeated. They lost to the Titans. <laughs> so Ryan Tank. I honestly feel like they have a big... I feel, I feel like Lamar has a big chip on his shoulder about losing that game. And I think they're just going to come back and just smack kids around. It's going to be a great day for the Ravens. Gold shoot you guys. I absolutely think so. As much as I don't like the Ravens... Lamar's going to have a great game. Phenomenal. You saw what he did to the Browns last year. He's going to do it again. Absolutely. I'm going to take Cleveland. I think Nick Chubb has a field day. I, I, You know, it's hard. Actually, hold on. Time out. Wait a minute. No, you already made I know, your I know, pick. I know, I know, I know. Okay, well, no, you can't no, I know, no, but the, there is there is one big variable that I want to add though, to like help Bryce because if he, he can get out of picking the Browns here, but I think that Nick Chubb's gonna have a good day, and I do think the Browns are gonna have an in, in, they're gonna improve from last season, especially sure. with you know Kareem Hunt playing a full season. I think their offense finally finds their footing. They did lose Joe Schobert, who I think is. A you know great leader on their defense, but Baltimore got Calais Campbell. I mean that's that's a great addition to their defense. That's a leader, and you know Baker's gonna have to just Baker's gonna have to play mistake free football if they're gonna win this game. And you know hopefully you can do that because I you know submitted this pick in, but you know they just got this new offensive coordinator. Especially you know they're essentially gonna be a run first team. You know and if they got Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. Hopefully they can be a run first team and do it successfully because they're gonna have to do that with these two running backs. So we're gonna roll with Cleveland. Fitz, who do you got? I'm taking Cleveland. This one was tough for me because uh, everywhere Calais Campbell's go, he, he the sack production in that defensive line always goes up. Everywhere, it, I don't know what it's his presence in their defensive line. Doesn't matter who it is, their numbers are going up. But I do think the Browns are going to get it. I think Nick Chubb has a good game. I think it's just because of how many weapons are there more than anything. Austin Hooper's a big dynamic tight end. I kind of like. And Kevin Stefanski ran a two tight end system in Minnesota. I think that's what he's going to do in Cleveland. And they have two good receivers. I think they're going to sneak it out. 
by a field goal. They, so you're Cypher. taking the Cleveland Steamers. Yeah, Cleveland. Cypher gets it done because Cleveland beat Baltimore. I mean, Cleveland beat Baltimore in Baltimore last year, too. It was all it was Yeah, in that's true. And to cap off the 10 a.m. games, we have the Seahawks traveling to Atlanta. Atlanta's always one of those teams I want to root for and I want to pull for, but that's you know, true. every year they... they they end up kind of getting slimmer and slimmer pickings by the year. They kind of get rid of you know the guys that they rely on on the offensive side of the ball. Matty Ice remains there. But, uh, yeah, Seattle, man, that's that team. Seattle's going to dominate. Seattle's going to beat Atlanta by a lot of points. Cam, who do you got? Seattle for sure. You know, I hate them. They're going to win. Larry? I'm taking the Seahawks by a lot. I like Gurley in this old matchup, but I don't think it's going to be enough at all. I think the Seahawks are too much to handle. DK is going to have a thousand yard year this year. It's just they're going to be too good. Seattle and Colch. Man, we're going to pick the Seahawks because Star Star Five dollars charity of your choice. I mean, DK, I think he's going to have a year also. I think like at the very end of the year when they do the top one hundred plays, he's going to have a top five. Play. There we go. I, I think he's gonna have a just a not, and I think it's gonna be this game. <laughs> There's that it's bold gonna, prediction. This, though. this game, I think now it's gonna that be, is a bold prediction, Cotton. There we go. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's why people tune catch. in. That's gonna be like gnarly. I don't know if it's gonna be one handed exactly. No, <laughs> it's gonna be more. It's not gonna be like it's gonna be like a fingertip. Wow. There we go. That's the bold prediction. So they tune into the crew to get in. All right, and that's going to close off the 1 o'clock Eastern games. So now we're moving on to the 4 o'clock, the afternoon games for the West Coasters. we got the Chargers taking on the Bengals. I don't know about you guys, but I felt like this game was kind of right down the middle. Cameron, who do you got in this one? I want to go last on this one. Golge, what about you? Man, I think this game's going to be not fun to watch. No, I don't think it's going to be fun to watch. It's going to be horrible. It's going to be like... the. Maybe, like, the most punts ever in one game. It's not a for-sure thing. Pretty close, though. But I'm just going to choose the Chargers because I have a feeling. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to take the Bengals. Joe Burrow comes in, gets his first win as an NFL quarterback, and it's against the Chargers that I think, you know, I think they're still building. I think signing Keaton now to that contract is smart. You know, you're committing to your superstar. You're committing to one guy that... You know, it's going to make your team better, but I think they're still they're still a while away. Fitz, who do you got? I'm going to take it's it's the Chargers versus the Bengals. I'm taking the Bengals because I I think Burrow's going to have a good game. I think AJ Green's going to come back and finally do something for the Bengals. He had all this time off. I think it's time that he comes back and does something. I think they'll have a decent game. I think Tyrod's going to struggle. I don't think the offense will get going. I think he'll be benched by week three. Herbert will be in soon. We'll definitely see Herbert by the end of the season. Cam, you waited. Let's see what you got. You know, I wanted to choose the Bengals as an upset, but as I've been thinking about, I don't know if that would be an upset. I, I don't really think you could yeah, call him that. That would be that'd be, too, it's like, that'd be that's too straight down be, the it's line. It's too much of a shit show to be a. Yeah, sometimes to go straight down the Bengals. You can go with the Bengals for this pick, huh? Mm. All right. So okay, let's 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 recap here. So Fitz, have you done your upset and your lock, or just an upset or a lock? I did my upset and lock. I locked the Bills, and my upset was the Jags. And Cam, how about you? Just my lock. Just your lock. And I just did my upset with the Jags. And I have just done my upset. I know, and I already got my lock that I know I'm gonna do. So, heading into the second of the 4 o'clock games, we got the Cardinals traveling to San Francisco. And who better take it away than Larry himself? Fitz, what do you got? Well, I'll tell you what Fitz has got. He's got 125 yards in him and a touchdown. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Oh, that's what we that's need. That's the boldest prediction I've heard yep. all day. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. It's because DeAndre's going to take the top off this defense. They're just going to be too focused up on him. I mm-hmm. think Larry's going to have himself a day. Don't be putting triple them third-string corners on Larry because he's going to be a feast in this season. 
I think Larry is going to get the touchdown. I think Kenyon's going to have over 100 yards. I think we're going to beat the Niners. We were one possession away from doing it last year, and this team's got nothing but better. This is the team to do it. We're going to beat the NFC champions. Who? The Cardinals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Chandler Jones. Who? Exactly. Chan Chan. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Cameron, who do you got? 49ers. They lost in the Super Bowl. They have a big chip on their shoulder. They're going to come in this season, their first game of the year, and they're going to stomp the Cardinals. I don't care who they have as their receivers. I don't care. They don't care who their quarterback is, who their run game is, who their defense is. Every team slumps after they, the Super Bowl. They don't care. They lost. And they lost the in game. a heart. This man has a feeling. Yeah, this so, man. <laughs> hashtag, I got a feeling. We'll put it on a t-shirt. <laughs> going to pull out his big boy pants on, and he's going to destroy the Cardinals. Cole, what do you got in this one? Yeah, I think I'm going to have to choose the 49ers. You know, they definitely got upset losing the Sube. So uh, they have something to prove. It's a big chip on the shoulder there, kid. I'm also going to take the 49ers. I think the Cardinals are going to have a good year. I think they're going to have a good showing this year. Um, you guys are sleeping on us but, uh, but I think the Niners, I think the Niners are just one of the best teams in the NFC. So yeah. I think the Niners are going to. They already had injuries to receivers. Jimmy G's not that great at throwing. If you stop that run game, it's not that hard. Their defense is good, but if we can do it with the team that we had last year, we can definitely do it with DeAndre Hopkins. Y'all be sleeping, just <laughs> like the whole NFL, just like everybody. In the <laughs> Get ready for the fun watch. You, didn't you say that last year? No. <laughs> <laughs> everybody no, says that. All right, and the cap off the 1 o'clock games, probably – I would say the hashtag crew game of the week. We got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Ooh. and the New Orleans Saints. No I one's mean, a Saints fan, though. Huh? No one's a Saints fan. No, just like the game of the week. I mean, this is going to be a good fucking game. I think game. this is going to be a game this of the week. This is going to be a game of all games. This is going to be like a super mini Super Bowl. I mean, you're going to see this game twice a year. I think it's going to be a shootout, too. I think it's going to be a game with a lot of offense played and a lot of points scored. And you get to see Tom Brady and Drew Brees go at it. You get to see them go at it twice a year this the year. It's going to be. Time. It's going to be. Yeah, that's like all time, man. Yeah, for it's, the first time ever. It's going to be all time Christmas. Oh, they haven't played before. No, they've never oh, played wow. each other. And this is going to be fun fact. And that's the camera with the fun facts. You like the young Jamie of the podcast? <laughs> the freaking Fitz, who do you got? I'm taking the Saints. I think the division champs. Come back, get it done. I think the Tampa Bay Bucks are going to come out lethargic to start. I don't. I think this team will be extremely good. I just think they're going to come out and look a little slow with all the pieces that they have to work with. And I think the Saints get it. Cam, what do you got? For me, no brainer. <laughs> the Bucks, Bucks getting dubs all day. It's going to be forty, thirty. There you go. Folge, what do you got? Um, I'm gonna have to choose the Bucks. I think uh, Tom Brady is ready, and he's he's ready to roll. I am also going to take Tampa Bay. I think the final score is gonna be 45 to 38. I can see that. Maybe it's even gonna more. Be close. Yeah, no matter yeah. what, and high scoring. Yeah, and oh, at least 30s for yeah. sure. I think Brady. I think Brady puts it together. I think. I think Fournette's going to be a really big, important piece of this offense. I think the run game's going to be there. You know, Brady's obviously going to throw a lot of yards, but, I mean, Fournette was a very big piece of Jacksonville's play-action game. And, like, when Fournette doesn't have to face those loaded boxes, you're going to really see, like, what Leonard Fournette can do when he Mm -hmm. gets the football. It's going to be – I think that's going to be very, very exciting. So I'm going to take Tampa Bay. And, of course, now, Colge for the – First time this season. <clears throat> Let's hear those pipes. Oh, I didn't even warm up. I forgot uh, about this. Should, should, should we take it? Should we take no, a short? No, oh, no, no. Oh, oh fuck! We're gonna do, do it first thing. <clears throat> All right, yeah, let, it, let it out. Sunday night. Oh, dude, that, that was. was God, I got good pipes, oh, man. Dude, that's a boat. Oh, 
that's about as Only good. Few. That's about as good as fucking we're gonna get it, dude. Oh yeah, <laughs> for sure. I was surprised you forgot about that one. I remember last year you got pissed off when I would forget about it. Oh man, I totally forgot about. No, I'm pissed off. You forgot about. It. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pissed pet- off at myself. <laughs> Come so, on now. So we got the first Sunday night and coldest first Ooh. Sunday night. Dude, Patrick Jackson even, I remember last year, sent in a video of himself fucking oh, yeah. singing in the Sunday night. Dude, should Patrick just, <laughs> we're going to get off topic for just like a second. Patrick Jackson sent in a fucking Larry Fitzgerald highlight tape for you, Fitz. That's nice. what we like. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> I'll watch it all. <laughs> he, 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 he was these. like at Tree Talks. So I sent this in for your boy Fitz the other day. He's like missed the crew cast. So he needs, he he'll, needs, he'll he needs love the, this. He needs a reaction video of me looking at the video. <laughs> <laughs> and he put it. And the best part is he put it out on Larry's birthday too. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's Gary. That's Gary Barnage's birthday too from our Barnhouse Productions. Oh, Should they have the same out. birthday. Same birthday. Had no idea. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, okay, back to the topic at hand, the Sunday night football game. Who else will be playing on Sunday night besides the fucking Dallas Cowboys? The Dallas Cowboys <laughs> team. <laughs> Dallas is going to be taking on the Los Angeles Rams, and Dallas is going to fucking run all, the, all over the Rams. It's not even going to be fucking close. Dallas is going to kill the Rams, and, yeah, Cowboys are going to win. Fed to the guy. I'm taking the... Cowboys. I think it's going to be by a lot. I think Mike McCarthy's year off is going to prove well. I like the slide of middle linebacker for Leighton Van Der Esch. He's sliding in the middle linebacker this year. I really like that fit for him. I do too. Later. I think he's. I think it's going to be really good for Dallas this year. I see them winning the division. I think they'll win it probably by four or five games. I think it's going to be just a landslide. Culture, you, got. you guys said everything I've already wanted to say. I'm going to choose the boys. America's <laughs> team. America. And Cam, what do you got? I'm going to go with the Rams. Ooh, prevented that star, the third star frame. Why Why the Rams? He's got that feeling. He's, He's got, got the mind's telling me no. <laughs> <laughs> but my body, <laughs> my body's... Telling me yes. I feel it. There you go. And then for the Monday night games, we got Pittsburgh taking on the New York Giants. Cameron, let's go right back to you. Double shot. Who do you got on this one? Ooh, I'm going to have to go with the win with the Steelers. The Steelers are going to get the dub today. And it's going to be a great day for them. They're going to lose. They're going to beat the Giants because who do they got? (laughs) Yeah. Come on. Daniel so Jones is a quarterback still. Yeah, Barkley, he can only do so much. He can only do so much as a running back. And it's just like, without a quarterback, that's a big piece of the offense right there. Larry? I'm taking the Steelers. Now, here's my thing. I think there's two people who are in the comeback player of the year. If Haskins stays quarterback. I think there could be three, obviously Alex Smith, but I think Haskins is probably going to take up a lot of that time. So, I think it's going to be Big Ben and Cam Newton for the comeback yeah. player of the year this year. I think Big yeah. Ben's going to light it up on Monday night. The Steelers play good when they're in prime time. Wait, 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 wait. Time out. Could Gronkowski get the comeback player of the year? I guess he technically could. he could. Because he took it, yeah, if he was out of league, he could do it. Mm-hmm. I guess, I mean, that's three. Mm-hmm. So I, I think it's just going to be Big Ben. I think he's going to have five touchdown passes. I think he's going to come out lights at, lights out. 35-15. The only person who's scoring for the Giants is the field goal kicker. <laughs> and he's kicking five field goals. <laughs> he's having a beautiful day. And we'll kick it over to Steelers <coughs> fan. Cold, who you got? Man, I'm going to use my first lock of the week and choose Pittsburgh. <coughs> It's just going to be too easy, man. We we play good primetime. It doesn't matter if we're playing with our first string, second string, or third string quarterback. We will win and dominate. I forgot to put my bold prediction out there. I think newly signed extension holder, Case, Case uh, Mr. Cameron Hayward, mm-hmm. I think he's going to have three sacks. Ooh. Um, Daniel Jones. I think he's coming out. Be the league leader. That's right. Start the season. I like and, it. 
I'm also going to take Pittsburgh for another star frame. Five dollars totally of your choice. And that is also, I'm me and Cold are in sync, my lock of the week. And like Cold said for the, I believe it was, the Cowboys game, you guys already said everything that I needed to say. Pittsburgh's going to dominate the Giants. And to cap off week one of the season, we got Tennessee going to Denver to face the Broncos. And let's cap things off with Larry. Larry, who do you got? This is a crapshoot, really. I think it is. I, I think it's a crapshoot. I honestly don't think so. I think it's going to be an upset win. I thought... The Titans made it to the playoffs last I, year, baby. I really thought that Denver had a chance, but then Von Miller went down. I do like Jarrell Casey's revenge game because he's pissed off at the Titans, but I, I think there's just too much for the Titans now. The Titans have too much. I think DH is going to have a good game. Ryan Tannehill will do enough, oh, and they'll win. More than that. <laughs> <laughs> Cam, who do you got? It's an upset win. It's going to be an upset for the Broncos. I have to choose it. That's your upset of the That's week? That's my upset. Cause Drew Locke. Yeah, he's just going to have a he's just gonna have a heyday. He's got, he's something, he's got something to prove this year, or he's going to be gone. I like it. Cold? I like it, too. <laughs> I know. And... I made I made the tribe happy. I made Treeb's tribe happy, choosing the Jags for my upset. But I'm gonna bring him back down the level. <laughs> bring and I'm gonna, back down the life. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna choose the Titans because I love the Titans. Love Ryan Tannehill. Mister Henry is gonna have a day. I think. I mean, with Von Miller not there, I mean, I think my bold prediction is. Derrick Henry don't do shit in this game. I mean, he can get like 80 yards, but Ryan Tannehill leads with the victory. He throws 350 yards and three touchdowns. So good. We don't like the Titans, but we love the Titans. <laughs> Ryan Tannehill. I love the Titans. We love, I Ryan, love Ryan Tannehill. We love Ryan Tannehill. So I'm going to take the Titans, and that is going to conclude week number one NFL picks, ladies and gentlemen. Fitz, got any last words for the people? Another start to a beautiful season. I love y'all. Thanks for watching. Cam, see you next week. See you next week. Coach, don't take this football season um, for granted. That's facts. Because we're we're very lucky right now to have football season. So uh, no hold on to it. Hold on to it tight. You had no clue what to say. I forgot the word first. I had it lined up perfectly. Just told him. Have the best days of their life. Yeah, and you always like are. just, just, and just, have the best uh, day of your life. Yeah, have the best day of your life. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, if you guys haven't already, you can check all the links down below. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks. Follow me on Instagram at Trey Von Pixley. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.